13,000 rock bands jammed McNichols Arena last month for the thundering music of Motley Crue. At center stage, Vince Neal, the 24-year-old lead singer, adored by teenagers for his heavy metal style and for his open defiance of conventional attitudes about drugs and sex. Well, I tell you, if you don't use it tonight, Denver, then you're gonna lose it! But his celebrity status may not keep Neil out of jail. Last year he got drunk, took a friend for a drive in his sports car, lost control, and smashed into another car. One girl was in a coma for two months, and um, uh, my friend died. Motley Crue's bad boy image hasn't changed much since the accident. The band's latest video features a barroom scene and a shot of Vince Neil lounging on the beach, drink in hand. But Neil says his albums and his concerts now include a warning about drinking and driving. He agreed to talk about his crime with Channel 9 and two students from Golden High School. Andy Copeland and John Smith are trying to start a chapter of SAD to keep their friends from driving drunk. At parties, you know, it's there, so the kids take it, you know. Yeah. And then they just go out and drive. All kids are rebels at heart. You tell someone not to do something, they're going to go right out and do it just because someone said not to do it in the first place. You tell people not to drink, the first thing you do out and go out and, and get a drink. Are you saying you must accept the fact that kids drink? Yeah. I think that what you have to do is just make the kids aware of what it would happen if, when they do drink. That's the only way you're going to do it. I mean, you can't stop them from drinking, but you sure can make them aware of, of the consequences. The consequences for Neil were nearly $3 million in restitution to the victims, 200 hours of community service work, and the fear that he'll have to go to jail for a month. I don't think a, a drunk driver is a criminal and should be stuck in a prison with a, a mass murderer or rapist. They, see, they call accidents accidents because they weren't supposed to happen, yeah. you know? It's not like you get in a car, you go, well, I'm going to get drunk tonight and kill somebody, you know? It's, uh, but they're, sure, sure, take away their license forever, uh, um, make them pay, you know, $3 million. You know, that sobers the people up real quick. It did you? Sure did.